Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to try this one. Okay, um, I'll try to do this picture but apply to a straight wall. Uh, okay, so yep, I think this one. Uh, yeah, we can do this uh, as a, a pattern based family then we just need to put some put these um into a pattern based family okay so let's do it so first um i think yeah we can just uh you can also you can either use this curtain panel pattern based or general model pattern based um yeah so it's all good so let's start with so let's have a look again um so for this shape so we need to uh choose a a pattern right so if you start a pattern based family you select this uh, grid tile pattern grid and then we change to pick a uh, pick one that match matches the the pattern we're going to do right so for this one uh, i think rhomboid is the one okay so let's uh let's do it so let's just uh i think that's probably need to be yeah to be uh this way i'm not i'm not sure but uh yeah so now um so of course we're not going to model these like uh, ourselves, right? So it's easiest way to do it is to nest a family inside here. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to nest a an adaptive family inside this pattern based family. So let's create another family. So this time it will be a adaptive family. So in uh, this uh, will be quite simple. So basically. So one, two, three, three points, adaptive point, uh, sorry, adaptive family should work. So let's just, in this adaptive family, uh, we can just place two, oh, sorry, three adaptive points, and then we're going to just connect point one and two, point two and three. So, yeah, so basically this is it. So I'm going to just, um, uh, just use this model line, okay? So for now, so I'll load this one into, this uh, pattern based family so i'll escape for now so because we still we need need one more so because currently we only have so imagine we place from this point and then we just miss something right so miss something in the middle so we can just place a, a place um let me think uh let me think we needed to yeah that should be fine just to create a splines rule point use reference line so now we have this reference line and we can just use a divided path and maybe we can um we can create a parameter so instead of just you know give it a number we can just we can also create a parameter so we can control the number of these uh, families Okay, so let's create uh, our code number. Okay, and it will be a, let's just use type parameter for now. Okay, and also, um, yeah, I think that's that's it because all these, uh, so the point one, so in, the, in this adaptive uh, point will be placed onto, this point and uh, point three will be here, so we don't need any more uh, divide, um, sorry, divided path. Okay, so let's go we'll create component. So we're going to so we'll be uh, place on face, right? So try to pick the point. Yeah, actually, I'm not sh quite sure. <laughs> let's just place it here. Okay, so and then I'll just place uh, maybe just place any of these nodes. Okay, so and then place here. Now escape, select it, click on repeat. This is it. Okay, and then we can just you know load this one into a a mass or a a, pro, a, a project, and then we can use it on, um, in a modeling place mass. But for this one, I'll just create a conceptual mass for. So we can place this one. So um, I'll just place a reference line 
on work plan so place onto this level and now just draw a line and then we can create a form that will be a vertical right and then uh, let's just I'll just uh, yeah increase the height and then we can just you know uh, use divide your surface go here and pick the uh, rhomboid pattern right? right so and then you can adjust the size the grids so for example I'll just yeah so something like that maybe 15 is enough so now we can go back to the pattern based family and load this one into the conceptual mass and select it go here so see this this is the pattern based family with a nested adaptive family so well you will see oh yeah so and also you can see those nodes um yeah it's a little bit too much maybe we can go back here select the divided path divided path and go here uncheck the nodes and okay load this back overwrite okay so this is one of the option we can hide the, those nodes okay in the family uh, the other option is you can also do it here vv just go on the mass subcategory and uncheck the nodes okay so that's option two so yeah so you can see this is it so currently this uh, we only have those model lines but we can also model something some geometry okay so if so for example you want to rent, do some render um, and also if I uh, GD turn on the shadow you will see uh, there's no shadow at all because there's uh, there there's no geometry that they, they are only uh, model lines so go back to this uh, sorry let me go one, one step back here so I'm going to select these two model line and make them reference line and then let's just uh, you, um, sorry place a point first use your own face place onto this and because, because this there are two two reference so we're going to create a sweep on these two uh, reference line path because uh, there are more than one path so we only need one profile so it will go uh, create this sweep so from this end to that end so if if we only have one we will need two to make it um, uh, parametric if 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 we need, if we need, if we want to make it parametric we need two profile but because we have two path here we only need one okay so yeah let's uh, uh, let's place a profile draw on word plan set word plan and I'll just uh, uh, roughly not sure how big it need to be maybe I'll just make it 100 by uh, 300 for example okay and I'll m I move it to the center roughly right so okay and then select this and create a form so this is it so now if I change the size for example so it will change the whole thing right so which means if I want to make it parametric I just need to add some dimensions and parameter on this profile and that's all so now let's uh, load this one into the second uh, the pattern based family which is the family one and overwrite so this will replace all the model line with this okay and then if we load this one into the um, so actually you can also skip this step because the adaptive family is a shared family so if you you can directly load this adaptive family into the, the final uh, um, conceptual mass family it will be the same okay so yeah so overwrite and this is it so now you can see because uh, we have geometry uh, instead of model line and Robert will cut the, these geometry uh, on these you know edges so this gives us a quite interesting shape right so and also uh, you can adjust the, the size of the, the grids for example you can change to 5 make this maybe uh, um, 8 to 
to reduce the number, right? Or you can adjust the the size. You can make it, make this one parametric by uh, actually. Let me just add it. Or oh, H H hide that geometry. Uh, let's say uh, let's try to add dimension. Oops, sorry. So tab select one, and then you can create a, dim a dimension. Okay. So I'll see if I can. Uh, maybe just w this this become uh w times h uh type this one um create let's call it h um i'm not sure if i can um make it uh add a equal dimension i'm not sure <laughs> so i'll try okay so and see if i can equal oops equal yeah it works yeah, so this actually this this it's quite confusing when when I uh, try to sometimes when equal it won't work but yeah sometimes it works not sure but if it doesn't doesn't work you can always uh, add dimension to the instead of you know the whole dimension with the equal you can just add half dimension from the reference line to that point okay so it will be the same just uh, a little bit you need a formula so half width equals uh, width divided by two right so so for this one uh, let's finish add another dimension here so link this to the h uh, sorry I didn't link this to the w and that's all so now yeah, I'll type hr to bring back this uh, form and then go to family types so we can have a place of when I'm, if I change to 150 it will change the whole thing right so the width of this whole uh, sweep so this one changed to uh, oops for 150 as well yeah become a square shape good now let's try so this time we're going to load directly into this uh, conception mass instead of you know load into the pattern based uh, family and then load the pattern based family into the conception mass so we're going to load it directly into the conception mass so this will also work because this adaptive family is uh, is, is a shared family by default it will all automatically um, replace replace this one so you can see in, in this conceptual mass you can also tab select individual one right so and then change the size because the, uh, it's a shared uh, family so let me ch show you so 100 100 so you can change the size of this okay so yeah I think this is um, basically it and of course uh, because uh, it's, it's a very simple exercise and it's a straight wall you can for this pattern you can also place uh, them onto uh, organic shape so um, so for example let, let me show you uh, uh, maybe I'll just use a spline through points or maybe let's try something different uh, this time I'm going to use a spline um, spline draw onto work plan set work plan I'll just use the rep level, level one imagine that's a floor ground floor level something like that okay so now we have a reference line spline right so this is a two-dimensional oh what's going on here it's very slow okay so it's a uh, two-dimensional uh, spline reference line so we can place point onto it so and then we can use these points as a, like a, a base and then we can place profile oh probably because sh shadow so let, let me turn off the shadow so g d so this is conceptual ma mass uh, there's no shadow uh, button here you can click but you can still go to g d to turn on or off shadow okay so now let's reference um this time i'm going to again use another a, uh, maybe just use arc right so let's try a different thing set word plan onto this word plan I'll just place an arc something like this right so this is a it's also a two-dimensional uh, line onto a this point so now we can copy this one 
and then select this point, pick new holes, place it here, select this again, copy this one, uh, place it here. And then you can change the size or you know the radius or you know change, make it bigger. You can you can rotate it, right? You can um uh, uh hang on this one where's how can I change the oh here yeah. so I'll take this so you can you know make it you can adjust this yeah the the um the uh, direction you can yeah so you can make it longer so right so now let's select one two three together with this path yeah so we have some form right and then we can still adjust this right so go up uh this let's just you know this maybe go come go down something like that so you can just have a play right and also you can move the point along this path okay i think uh, maybe just uh, i'll just change this one to create more like a, a, a canopy kind of thing so okay so now this um, happy with this shape we can use divided surface and also i try to reduce the number because my computer is quite slow so i don't want to you know waste a lot of time <laughs> so yeah go back find that uh, pattern based families and then we just new weight and then yeah because um, previous, pre previously, uh, it took on only a few seconds to generate this because um, it's a flat and all those uh, pattern family in that pattern is the same. So it will take uh, less time. But this time, this uh, because it's organic shape, each one, every single one, are different. It's different. Okay, so. And this is it. So now you can see you can also uh, use this onto a um, organic shape, any shape you like. All right. So I think that's it. I'll just increase this up a little bit, but uh, I, uh, I probably just stop here now. So only maybe just you know, make this as a thumbnail. <laughs> so this is it. Um, very very simple uh, exercise uh, and um, yeah I, I will upload this family so you can have a place so it's and also um, yeah because I'm using 2025 so um, if you can't if you don't have uh, the, the latest version I recommend just have a play uh, try it yourself and uh, yeah if you have any questions please let me, let me know okay so this is it yeah, maybe maybe we sh maybe I can sh just wait for a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, great. That's it. So and yep. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me, please let me know. Um, yep. Post. Sorry, this one. Yep. Post. Uh, Post your question here and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, so thanks. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Here.